Welcome to the channel. My name is Matias. Today we're going to talk about the New Mutants Special Edition one-shot issue. It actually ties into X-Men Annual Number 9 where we have the New Mutants going to Asgard. We have some incredible art by Art Adams. I have to say that this guy's work during the 80s was god level. I freaking love all the incredible details that we have in these issues. And I do have to say that these black and white editions you really get to appreciate all the fantastic line work. So obviously the story is written by Chris Claremont and it revolves around Loki's machinations. He wants to take over Asgard. He has become fixated with Storm and he has hatched up the scheme to make her his own Thor. And just in case during this time Storm was depowered and during this specific story, Storm was taking care of the New Mutants who were seemingly on vacation. So the thing is that Loki, instead of doing his own dirty work, he sends Enchantress to kidnap Storm. So the story cuts to the New Mutants. They're having fun on this vacation. But we have this heartbreaking situation with Karma, who had a run-in with the Shadow King. And it has messed her up mentally and physically. Now, thanks to the Shadow King, she's morbidly obese. We get this really sad interaction between Karma and Storm. So after a very brief surprise exercise on the New Mutants from Danny Moonstar who used her powers on her teammates just to keep them on their toes, Enchantress actually attacks the team and what happens is Magic tries to use her teleportation discs on Enchantress and her minions to just teleport them away but it backfires teleporting all the new mutants to Asgard and they're all separated now. So what happens is each member of the team is going to go on their own personal adventure in Asgard and they're going to end up reconvening as a team after this whole adventure is about to finish. But the most important thing that happens to one of the members of the team is to Danny Moonstar. She saves this winged horse that has been ensnared in this trap and is able to fend off a couple of pretty tough Asgardian warriors. And what we discover is that this flying horse actually belongs to the Valkyries. And what happens is she is actually asked by the Valkyries, who are very impressed that she was able to save and defend this winged horse, to become a Valkyrie herself. Now she really thinks this over but what happens is she decides to accept. I love the design of Danny Moonstar's Valkyrie costume. Now it seems that the New Mutants were in Asgard for a really long time. Karma for example was lost in this Asgardian desert and she ends up losing all the weight that she had put on after that whole ordeal with the Shadow King. We discover that Sunspot is much more stronger when he's in Asgard. Wolfsbane actually meets the future father of her son, the Wolf Prince. Enchantress is able to bring out the worst in magic and creates like this weird dark child avatar that looks super cool. And she sends this avatar to hunt down the other new mutants. Now, the weird thing about this story is that the New Mutants are causing all this trouble in Asgard. They even cross paths with the Warrior Three, but they don't encounter Thor, so I don't know where Odin's son was during this time. So at the end of the story, what happens is obviously all our New Mutants are able to get back together. They take the battle to Enchantress. They're able to liberate Magic, who is the one that finally takes Enchantress down. But the thing is that all the new mutants are together, but Storm is missing in action. She was plucked away and now under the watchful eye of Loki. So we get the setup to X-Men Annual number 9 that we're going to cover in another video. So I hope you guys liked it. See you guys next time. Bye.